Smile and learn. Welcome back to Science Madness. In today's program, we are going to learn about magnetism. Have you ever wondered why magnets stick to the fridge and don't fall off? <laughs> This happens thanks to a property called magnetism. Let's see what it's all about. Magnetism is the property some objects have that attracts other metallic elements like iron. As you know, all matter has an electric charge. Normally, this charge is electrically neutral, which means there is an equal number of negative and positive charges. However, in some materials, this is not true, and this imbalance of charges causes attraction or repulsion. Magnets can be both natural and artificial. One of their main properties is the ability to attract objects made of iron and other metallic materials. This is called magnetism. Natural magnets are found in nature. An example is magnetite. Artificial magnets are made by humans from different metals, like iron or steel. So, What are the characteristics of magnets? Come with me to discover them. Magnets have two poles, which we can find at their opposing ends. We call these ends the North Pole and the South Pole, and they generate a magnetic field. If we put two opposing poles together, they attract each other. This means that if we bring the North Pole of one magnet and the South Pole of another together, they attract each other. On the other hand, if we put two of the same poles together, they repel each other. Pretty interesting, right? But magnets aren't just used to hang the shopping list on the fridge. They can be used for many other things. Let's take a look at some examples. Digital storage devices such as hard disks and memory cards use magnetic properties to store data. Screens, speakers, and other electronic devices also have magnets inside them. They're everywhere. I'm sure you've probably seen magnets on the clasps of bags and purses before, right? Look closely. Did you know that compasses work thanks to magnets? Magnetism is very important in knowing our orientation and location. This is possible because our planet has a magnetic field that starts in the Earth's core. Which is made up of metals such as iron and nickel, and extends through hundreds of miles of outer space. This magnetic field has a north and a south pole, just like magnets. Because of this, we can say that the Earth acts like a giant magnet. It moves the compass needle to the north and allows us to know where we are, so we can move around without getting lost. Interesting, isn't it? Good job, my friends. I hope you like magnets as much as I do. See you in the next video. Bye bye. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.